So hi, Mikhail. Thanks for the opportunity to come and speak to you at Codific and, and look at some of the work you're doing. Uh, my name is Jim Campbell. I'm the director of the Health Workforce Department of the World Health Organization in Geneva. Um, we have uh, been partnering with Amy and the, the constituency and the medical educators and the health professional educators for many, many, many years, uh, looking at the opportunities around the obviously the work around competency, competency-based education, but how to translate that into practice uh, and to ensure that the physicians, the nurses, the therapists, uh, the dentists, the pharmacists of tomorrow are coming out with the competencies, the skills, the knowledge, the education they need to deliver quality care. So absolutely, it was a privilege and a pleasure to be invited to give the inaugural uh, Ronald Harden lecture uh, to yesterday's plenary. Uh, and the message that we came bringing from WHO was, was looking, the questioning whether markets and strategies are aligned between education, employment and equity. So are we making sure that the ensuring access to care is the priority of employers and educators? Are they connected in that system? So as wonderful as it is to produce uh, a medical graduate with all the right competencies, that's only the step in the journey towards equitable access to care. So we want to make sure that everyone's involved in that, that process. Uh, and some of the key issues looking at the global challenges, uh, we, we are not producing enough graduates for the population demand, whether that's here in Switzerland, in Europe, in, and across the OECD, the high income countries, Africa and Asia. We're just not producing enough. Absolutely. We've just, um, a few years ago, Michaela, we produced uh, the WHO guidance on what are the essential competencies that every health and care worker will need to deliver universal health coverage. Uh, and that was a process engaging educators and specialists all around the world, member states, governments, ministries, to actually to, to really look at that. And we, we came out with a competency framework of which communication is one of the six areas that WHO recommends. Every health and care worker must have that core competence. And then within that framing, uh, then about four key activities. So to be able to communicate effectively, to be able to communicate with empathy, to be able to communicate with the patients irrespective of their ethnicity, their age, their sex in terms of a, this person-centered approach uh, to, do, to try and break uh, some of the, the negative stereotypes around a hierarchy between uh, the physician, the nurse, and the, 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 the person themselves. So absolutely, WHO's evidence, WHO's guidelines, every health and care worker should have communication competence. Well, um, for anybody who's entering into health professions education today, um, there's 40 years ahead of them uh, to Never make ending. a contribution to public health. Uh, I think it is one of the most uh, enriching professions in the world. If you can make a contribution to somebody's individual health, to a family's health, to a neighborhood health, uh, to population health, you know, it's, it's a calling. And just to, to hold dear, there's lots of opportunity within that um, career pathway to hold dear the principles of how to serve the patient. And just to say that, that indeed, thank you, to thank people who come into public service to serve the populations and the health of their needs. Thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you, Michaela. I know Pleasure. you're very busy over the next few days.